things that are normally thrown away that are plentiful to make this material. And it's earthquake resistant, fire resistant, water resistant. And it's a very, very exciting material because this normally, if it was solid concrete, would be a thousand pounds or more. And here is a 20 pound material that actually a woman or anybody could carry two or three of them. As you can see, I'm throwing it in the air. Oh, I don't know. I'll give it a try. Hey, that's light. You mean one or ten? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want it? And here you have panels that would normally weigh four, five, six thousand pounds, weighing a couple hundred pounds. This is incredible. And uh, two people can build this structure in a matter of a couple hours. And uh, this is the new paradigm for the world, using waste stream materials to build a home that's nearly indestructible in a world where natural disasters and terrorist attacks are becoming very common. This is insurance. This is homeland security. This is the future for your children right here, right now at World's Nest. And this will be available to the world very shortly in mass. Hi, I'm Victoria Peters. I'm co-founder, co-financer, and muse of Angel's Nest, which has now evolved to World's Nest. And we have an amazing power team that has come together to take sustainable homes and alternative building materials and alternative fuels out into the world in a big way so people can live in luxury and beauty and harmony with the planet, being good for people, good for the planet, good for the children of the world, and good for business. And this is one of the gentlemen that's part of our power team. Hi, my name's uh, Joe Lacey. Uh, good to be here at the Children's Earth Conference here in Los Angeles, the Convention Center. And uh, my job is part of this team is to implement structures from uh, waste stream sources and we have a lot of waste stream sources that actually replace Portland cement and uh, what we've done in our re years of research to get to this point is develop some interesting uh, materials that have refractory capabilities this is a one material that we call it I call it trash creek it's it comes from uh, Garbage that's been ground up, shred up waste stream materials like styrofoam cups, having a good insulating value. By encapsulating these different composites in a shell, you're able to maximize your efficiencies of your costs. You normally think of a masonry structure as being a poor insulator, like concrete or, or brick. But these new masonry composites have the highest R value for a given thickness that's available in a masonry substrate. Because the R factors of this material th that can run anywhere from R30 to uh, R100, uh, that it, very little heat or very little cooling can maintain comfort in these third world countries. Right now, uh, the, the places are usually ovens in the heat and they're usually ice boxes in the cold. This does the opposite. Uh, a little heat, a little warmth will heat your house and a little coolness will keep it cool in the extreme cold or heat. And that's the key about this material. It makes the comfort level for those poor people around the world very different. And uh, the materials that, that cause all the expense, steel, wood, and concrete, you're cutting that by 95%. So you can see the tremendous cost savings. And everyone in the world can be a benefactor of this. Here's your building material, Noah's Ark. Floats, it's waterproof, hurricane proof, fireproof, and your house floats down the river like Noah's Ark.